Hey guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the profile for my four color Spirit Sage control. Uh, this is the first variant of it. Uh, it definitely needs some tweaks, um, but I'll talk about the areas where I've noticed that it needs tweaks uh, when we get there. But other than that, let's just drive right in. So our J ruler is, uh, our ruler, sorry, is Moon Princess of Stellar Wars. J activate of pay two any color and then pay X, but you can only spend moon on X. So she flips over to Kaguya, the Immortal Princess, who is flying an imperishable of 400, 1000. Uh, she has the enter effect, search your main deck for X treasury items and put them onto the field. Um, X is the number of moon while you spend. Uh, and then the continuous is this card gains plus 200 for every treasury item you control and you can banish three treasury items you control to gain control of your target resonator. Um, so really cool. As you notice in the video, I didn't make use of her as much as I should have because she is imperishable and she can be a threat um, to help speed up the deck. I should have been J-activating her faster uh, and more consistently, um, but that's something that I learned from testing it. Uh, so if you are going to run this deck, definitely make sure to just take advantage of the fact that you can keep using her over and over again to keep pulling out those treasury items. So and that she can serve to you know serve as a blocker and serve as a flying kind of anti-flying kind of creature as well. For the stone lineup, we play four greed stones and then two each of blue green, uh, red green, and white green. Um, I think this stone lineup could change a little bit too. Uh, the only thing is I just really don't want to miss my first turn drop. Um, so I'm, I shy away from the moon shades, uh, as opposed, or sorry, the moon lights. Um, tweaking around, you could probably get away with running a couple moon lights, uh, or changing this lineup a little bit. I just, I felt like this was where I wanted to go comfortably to be at least be able to show off what the deck could do. Um, and not have you witness like first turn just whiffs constantly on those stones. So yeah, that would be what I point out there. Moving into the monsters, we're gonna do it in kind of two sweeps. Um, we're gonna do the non-sage package and then the sage package. Um, so the non-sage package is just four elvish priests and then four wind kitties to help you draw into stuff and serve against anti-burn or anti-aggro kind of cards. And then the two uh, Jin Spirit of the Lamp. This is for your end turn, or like end game plays to just bounce a bunch of your mana production or a bunch of, sorry, will production and a bunch of your uh, sages to trigger a bunch more counters. Um, it's not the most effective, uh, but I mean, it is a beat stick in and of itself, so that's really good. And this deck can sometimes lack for heavy hitters to close out games. The Sage Package, uh, we run three Kaguya. Uh, to help load up counters very, very quickly onto the different sages as you need them. Um, we run four My List. This is to help you with your burn, This is, or like burning your opponent down. Uh, I have won games purely just by burning with My List. This is to help you deal with smaller creatures, other things like that. Um, he does a lot of really big work, plus but you can only get two drop is really good. And then two, zero, the F flashing mage warrior to help protect my list and your Kagias and other stuff. Um, pretty makes links like um, Thunder is pretty much worthless and a lot of other cards that are down. Burn's really popular, so this card is gonna be really, really good. Four Feasting to help with will production and it's a quick cast uh, to help control the board state, so that's really good. Um, one Almerius, again, quick cast is always good and the ability to just pop off resonators really fast is always a plus. Um, the major control and draw power of the deck is the Mood Start, with the fact that she can just tap everything down. You can pull some really nasty tricks on your opponent, um, similar to what the Snow White list did to tap down after recovery but before they go into main phase. Mood Start can do the same thing, but on a much broader scale without leaving herself open to attack. And then just to feasting the Elvish Oracle to kind of round out the control package. Um, I mean, you saw it in the match, I was able to get seven counters on one. Uh, and just like essentially say that it doesn't matter how much will you have, you're never going to be able to cast a card. Um, really, really good. Uh, the spell lineup is three Zeeks to make uh, to make things untargetable a lot, but also to cancel summons. Um, two Exceed to be able to cancel things as well as draw because we're not running Gretels. Treasuries are two Shining Bamboo to be able to search for Kaguya as well as being able to use Kaguya multiple times a turn. Leaves of Yggdrasil in order to help secure a sage 
that's already been on board with a lot of counters that you really, really need. So like once Feasting hits board, put a Leaves of Cog, uh, Yggdrasil on it, so even if they do kill it, they have to kill it again. It's probably not gonna happen. Um, and then one's Aladdin's Lamp to kind of help search all your spirits. Because uh, Jin, Mylist, and Moojart are all spirits. So you can search for it. I was running two before, but with so many spirits in the hand anyway, in the deck, uh, two was very cloggy. So I went down to one. So that was what I did there. Um, one thing that I would just note about this deck, guys, is I feel like this deck could operate just as smoothly as a Scheherazade deck. Um, and it would also make the will management a little bit easier, I think. But I still wanted to give it a shot um, because of the whole Spirit Sages and being able to search out Aladdin's Lamp. So yeah, those are just my my thoughts on it that I've heard so, that I've felt from the little bit of playtesting I've done. But it's still really fun, still a really fun deck. Um, so if you figure out some way to make it even better, uh, shoot me a list. I want to see how it does. So yeah, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Tell me what you thought about the deck. As always, and uh, until next time, this is DM073, signing off.